Welcome to a new video here at the workshop. My name is Ip Malik. If you don't have a backup copy of your operating system, you are constantly at risk of losing your files, including images and documents, as well as user configurations that you may have spent many hours setting up. To create a backup image of your Windows 11, first connect an external USB drive, or you can select a hard drive on your computer that does not have system partitions. Then click, search, find control panel, and open this application. Now go to the section, System and Security, and click, File History. At the bottom click, System Image Backup. Now open, Create System Image. The computer scans all drives connected to the computer. In this window, you need to choose a place to store the backup copy of your computer, in my PC, in addition to the Windows disk, there is another hard disk, if you have several disks, you can select the necessary disk here. Choose, here, and you can burn the system image to DVD, but since the image will be quite large, then you will have to spend several DVDs and much more time. You can also send the image to cloud storage, but I will not consider this storage location either. I press, next. This is the last window before the start of archiving. Here we see how much space the system image will take up and the components of the image are also shown here. I click, start backup, and the process of creating a disk image has begun. On some computers, the archiving process may be interrupted by this message. It says here that for some reason archiving is impossible, so as not to make the video long, I will not show here an analysis of all the reasons, since there are several of them and I will say right away that if the same message appears on your computer, then it will be easier for you to refuse archiving using Windows 11 and find another way to create a backup using some special program, such as a chronic true image. It's the best disk imaging program and I've been using it for many years without any problems. You can watch a video tutorial about it on my channel, the link is in the description of the video. And so, the creation of the C drive image is completed, the program offers to do one more operation to create another system recovery disk, click, no, close, and now let's move on to the step of how to restore a computer using this disk image. If your windows does not start, or the system is stuck at the windows logo, then you need to open the system recovery program on your PC. You can learn several ways to open the system recovery program and how to start a computer recovery using a disk image from my other video, the link is in the description. To start disk image recovery in Windows, click, Start. Then, Settings. Click, here, Recovery. Now in this tab, click, Restart Now. Click here again, Restart Now, and the computer restarts. The PC recovery program opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Then, Advanced Options. Here you need to select, System Image Recovery. The computer scanned its disks and found a disk with a system image. Now you need to click, next, and restore the system using this image. My computer works without problems and in order not to make the video too long, I will not do a restore and now I will say goodbye to you. I hope that what I have said was interesting for you. If you found this helpful, please share my video with anyone. Good luck!